welcome to my channel or welcome back. If this is not your first time, you're a trooper for sticking with it. Today's video is going to cover the story of how wanting to learn fiberglassing turned into creating an electric butt scooter with a top speed of 22 miles per hour. Stay tuned for the Boot Scoot 3004, the fastest butt stuff you'll ever see. Can I say that? I think I might get censored. I then did what most people with a two in front of their age do after doing anything in their life, and I made a TikTok about it. Little did I know that my butt was soon going to be seen by more people than a college football stadium. I don't even like football. Why was that the first? By more people than the state of Vermont. Actually, I need to Google that. Hold on. Dang it by almost as many people in the entire state of Wyoming. And as is the nature of the internet, the masses began to want more. More specifically, they wanted me to motorize my ass. To which I happily obliged. <laughs> this brings us to the next part of our tale of two cheeks and perhaps the only semi-logistical element of this project finances. Despite recommendations from some awesome subscribers, I was unable to find a motor that suited my needs of power and the motor things needed to launch me across the floor without absolutely flattening the bank in a way that I was neither emotionally or fiscally prepared for. That was until I met Jake. Is this thing look fat? And Jake's good friend, Cody. Yeah. <laughs> After making our introductions and finding out that we actually all have the same size butt, the construction of the Boot Scoot 3004 commenced. Why 3004? If the first version was the Boot Scoot 3000? Number one, counting is hard. And I also figured that this was the second version a version, you know what, I don't know, I just like the number four and it felt right, okay? Enjoy this reckless building montage. What? Management doesn't like the music, hold on. F you management, the boot scoot is positive vibes only. Now. Where were we? With our Franken-butt nearly complete, I began to come to terms with the fact that this might hurt a little bit, as I put on my helmet and went across the street to try out the Boot Scoot 3004. You gonna, give it, you gonna say something? I, in fact, had nothing to say because I was busy calculating how much skin and where from I would lose if I ate shit. To my delight and that of my companions, no skin or teeth were lost in the trial night. With a massive victory under our belts and a scooter tied to mine, we made big plans for the following day and called it a night. After establishing the safety standards for the day, Safety third. We headed out of the garage to see where my butt would take us. I feel like I have something on my face. While it stayed with us longer than my attention span, this immediate breakdown was not looking good for the boot. <laughs> one, one. That feels like both of them. Yeah. All right. I like that you can feel. Yeah. <laughs> Upon completing the most elegant entry sequence, we were off once again. Oh. The biscuit is all terrain. <laughs> all 
is in almost terrain. All is in asterisk almost all terrain. Um, as long as it's flat and un I was gonna make a super inappropriate joke, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> I was under the impression that this skate park was around the corner, not half a mile away. Better half a mile than half assed, so I sat myself down and got to scooting. Let it be known that this half mile took nearly half an hour and my feet felt like they were on f***ing fire. But it looked cool, and that's all that matters. That was a good run. Alright, let's see if we can reset this. This sh broke down more times than I did my sophomore year of college. Literally four more times after this one. However, one's strength is measured not in how many times your butt scooter breaks, but how many times you fix it. And fix it again, we did. Again? Yeah. This is the first time in the skate park. A little nervous, a little excited. Um, we have two lovely camera crew today. Let's see how it goes. I call it the Boot Boot 3000. Can go 20 miles per hour? Cool. Thank you. Maybe a little butt. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Flawless. Find the, the finish line. Who I knows? Didn't fall off. <laughs> All of that winning made me pretty dang hungry, so we headed to get lunch. And in an attempt to put this on my resume as a small scale vehicle, I decided to try to take it through the drive through. I was ignored for many minutes. After those many minutes passed, we decided to go inside like the normal human beings that we aren't and eat some lunch before proceeding on our day's work. The She's got an electric skateboard on her butt. It's called the boot um, So far, we were crushing our big plans, but I still wanted to make more friends. It's a fiberglass mold in my butt. Stoked on sugar and new friends, we decided to take the boot scoot to the local bike path in order to burn out the rest of its battery. And I must say, the day had been absolutely everything I wanted it to be and more. 
Have you ever had those moments, regardless of the length of time, where you feel like everything in the world is right? That level of joy that is so pure and indescribable, but it makes you kind of feel like you're floating through the sky. That's what I felt as I flew down the Texas bike path on my bud scooter with my feet on fire and friends trailing behind me. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you take this as your sign to make the crazy thing that you want to make and revel in the amount of joy that it can bring you. Till next time, kind internet strangers, stay safe out there. I would like to start this fantastic bonus footage section by saying a big thank you to my friend, Jake, for lending me the boosted S mini parts that we used for this build, two days of his time, and a friendship with a wonderfully strange beginning. Charge drill energy! Jake is a fantastic person to work with and an excellent business owner. Please check out his company, Rent Eboards, if you are local to Texas and check out one of his group rides if you are an existing one wheel rider or you wanna get into one wheel riding. They set up awesome group rides that happen downtown Houston and all over the place. Uh, it's a lot of fun to get out with fellow riders, regardless of whether or not you are scooting on your butt. Let's go with the one wheel. <laughs> I also want to give a big shout out to Cody Hovland, friend of Jake and fellow YouTuber, and now also a friend of mine. Thank you, Cody, for being the Bootscoot 3004 official troubleshooter so that that backpack did not have to come off every time something broke. And also for two days of your time and expertise on this project. For two strangers from the internet, this was one of the most enjoyable group projects I've ever had the chance to work on. Thank you both again for your time and for all of the shits and giggles we created over this weekend. May you both scoot on forever and always. <laughs>